You think Arnold Palmer is better than lemonade or iced tea? 100%. Is it because you're Hapa and you're mixed? Half Filipino, half Irish, so you're like, dude, it's better than just one full person or the other. What's going on, everybody? Andrew from the Fun Bros here. I'm here with Benson. What's up, guys? And right now, we are in the most historic part of downtown LA, in between Union Station and Chinatown. In today's video, we are going on a secret food tour. Now, we're gonna be hitting up four different spots that have historical meaning to LA. You haven't told me what these spots are. No, 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 no. I, I know the spots, but I actually have not been to any of them. We're gonna go meet our tour guide pretty soon at our first spot. I'm just looking forward to learning a lot. And eat a lot. And if you guys are interested in learning too, make sure to hit that like button. All right, everybody, let's go to our first spot and meet our tour guide, John. This is what it is, okay? I said empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless. All right, JV, we're here at our first spot. And without saying the name, because this is a secret food tour, right, right. can you tell us about this spot and why we're here? We're here because this restaurant started in 1944. The gentleman that owns it now, his grandmother started it. The food that we're eating are the same recipes that they've had since, since they opened. It's just fresh, delicious food. Okay, and you told me that we're eating taquitos today. Taquitos and a cheese enchilada as well. And the taquito was invented at this spot or in California? In California. Okay. I'm excited about this spot. Ryan, Definitely. you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's, let's eat some food. Let's eat. What are we looking at, uh, John? Here we got our beef taquitos. Uh, they make this here uh, and they cook the meat for 15 hours. Uh, and then uh, they have the specially made tortillas that they wrap it in. Yeah. Uh, and then they have the guacamole salsa. Mm. You can tell the meat has been cooked for a while because it kind of just like falls apart in your mouth. I love the difference in texture because you have the sauce on top, but then you have a really crispy, crunchy exterior. Up next, we got the cheese enchilada um, with olives on top. That's interesting. How would you describe Olvera Street? The street that we're on, it's kind of like there's there's no cars, you're not really supposed to drive through, but it has right. a lot of shops and a lot of restaurants. I kind of so, felt like I was uh, in Guatemala, like at Panajachel, just going through like the different streets mm. um, and having all these like different vendors trying to sell you things. You don't feel like you're in LA. Ooh, just straight cheese enchilada, man. Mm. You're going in on the tamale, hold up. Ryan, what do you love about tamales, man? You gotta tell me. So growing up, my dad's favorite food to eat is tamales. And we would go to Trader Joe's and pick up like the frozen kind. Trader Joe's. I wanna try this uh, chicken. chicken enchilada. Oh my gosh, those are fire, bro. Way go. Oh, wow. Ooh. This is my favorite. That's piper hot. It's so good. <laughs> we gotta pixelate that, bro. That's all good stuff right there. Mm. Mm. It was almost like a sh crispy corn shortcake with refried beans and beef. If this was the first spot and it was as good as it was, I can't wait for the next three spots. All right, guys. All right, John, let's go to the next spot. All right, JV, you have brought us to our next spot. It's actually a well-known spot, um, but it's funny because I've been to Chinatown like 20 or 30 times in my life here, and I've never came here. <laughs> <laughs> it opened up in 1908. It's been here for over 100 years now, uh, and they've got the great French dip sandwiches here, all different oh, flavors. The big, the big seller here is the beef dip, oh. uh, which is about 65% of their sandwich sales. Uh, and then they also got a huge menu of uh, different things. I'm really excited for this. French dip is like one of my favorite sandwiches, if not my favorite sandwich. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was like an East Coast thing. Yeah, sure. that was an East Coast yeah, thing. Yeah, like, hey, yeah, we get the French dip. I don't know why I did an Italian <laughs> accent, but. Let's get it. Let's get okay. it. It's crazy, so we're, we're in like Chinatown downtown, and we started with a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Now we're at a French dip restaurant. Like, and these are all famous, like, historic spots. Here we have the original double dip beef sandwich. This is like the original way to get it. Original beef right here, man. 
the au jus wow. kind of like it's 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 there it's noticeable but it's not like oh my hands are like are wet from from the juice yeah i saw so many people get this mac salad so i gotta try it what do you think about the chopped up mac salad i've only had mac salad a couple of like handful of really times. i yeah. could just i thought your childhood was like hey ryan we got some mac salad so you think <laughs> wow that's really refreshing I would say that Max Salad almost has like a cooling effect. Yeah. Let's try this pickled egg. Woo! Got a tang to it. Wow. It just hits like the back of your mouth. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about vinegar, but when it hits your mouth, it like makes your mouth like. Yeah. All right, we got two more sandwiches left to try. We got the lamb All right. and the pork. I'm gonna try the lamb. This is a single dip, meaning that it's just dipped the lamb into the ajouch. That is some good quality lamb. Like I said, if you like lamb, you're gonna love this because the lamb flavor was pretty strong and it right. came through in the sandwich. The sandwich doesn't have a lot of fixings. Bread, ajouche, and meat. So it's really simple, so it really lets the meat shine through and that's what I enjoyed about that. I mean, the lamb just... Do lambs kick? Lambs kick? It kicked me in my mouth. Let's that's try this. Sad. This is the wet sandwich. That means the bread was dipped completely in ajouche and the meat was... The au jus on this is a lot more distinct than the other two. It takes them 24 hours to make the au jus, and they use vegetables, the bones, uh, and then uh, garlic, salt, pepper, everything else is in there. To this unknown French dip spot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make an Arnold Palmer real quick. Wow, look at bartender Ryan, yeah. Dude, put some flair on it. <laughs> You think Arnold Palmer is better than lemonade or iced tea? 100%. Is it because you're Hapa and you're mixed? Half Filipino, half Irish, so you're like, dude, it's better than just one full person or the other. All right, John, so we made it up to Chinatown and we're at a Cantonese barbecue spot. Of all the Cantonese barbecue in Chinatown, which there's a number of them, why are we here? We felt that this was just some of the best stuff that was served. We also get a portion of rice and veggies, and so it's a really it's a nice meal to have on top of what we've been already eating on the tour. Let's go eat some Cantonese barbecue. All right, Ryan, I have to admit, I am no stranger to some Cantonese barbecue. Yo, Andrew, man, don't do it, don't do it. I gotta do this no! for my culture was very crispy. They finish it on charcoal. So of course it has like that burnt charcoaly taste, which shocking, I know guys, shocking, <laughs> shocking. I haven't been to this spot though. This is the barbecue pork, AKA the Tashi. This is Siu Yolk, this is the crispy pork skin. This is gonna be similar to like a lechon. Lechon. Sort of, that's, I would say that's the comparison. This is soy sauce chicken okay. right here. And then you have, John, the roast duck that you guys right. are like, you guys are standing by this. Yes. Wash it down with a little bok choy. Mm. All right, let's get through this. Yu the crispy pork. At Chinese spots, they make sure that the skin is ultra crispy. Oh, wow. 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 It almost is like eating chicharrones on pork, mm. on roast pork. All right, guys, last piece here before we go to our last spot on the secret food tour. All right, All right this is the chashu. This is actually like pretty tender and I, I, I can go into more, more bites of it. Oh man, this ginger scallion uh, in Mandarin it's zhang chong and then in Cantonese it's uh, gurung chong. Fire, fire, fire! Fire! Just the rice and the GS sauce. I'm good, I'm gonna end it right there guys. <laughs> we got one more spot to go to. Uh, <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, this is sweet. Oh my god. Yo, I Yo. asked for, so this is the Hong Kong lemon iced tea. Whoo, that is sweet. That is, that is uh, That's a sugar rush right that, there. That is something else. I told you man, Canto spots that give you the flavor. <laughs> Guys, we have one more spot on the secret food tour. I'm, I'm excited. Everything that we've had today so far has been amazing. And no, I'm shout out to John and secret tours. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical of the Chinese spot. I can agree that that was really good.
Okay, we are here at this circuit. All right. <laughs> All right, we are here at this secret burger spot. This spot is really cool because actually everything on the menu is vegan, minus the beef patty and the regular cheese. Wow. I can see that the burger patty is not like made with a machine. It looks made by hand. It's got the pickles, tomato, lettuce. I love how that tomato is right in the middle. It's not sliding out right. to one side. You can tell they put a lot of thought into how they layered it, putting oh. all the wet ingredients at the bottom, keeping the dry ingredients at the top so it doesn't just get disintegrate all the way through. It's really good. Yo, that burger was nice. What's really cool is they have a vegan burger, but it's not a Beyond, it's not an Impossible brand. It's their very own vegan patty. Mm. Wow. When I saw these fries earlier, I was like, oh, did we just transport to In-N-Out? Cause yeah. <laughs> these look exactly like the In-N-Out animal fries. All right, you know what's special about these though? This is vegan cheese. Oh, no way. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna make oat cheese? Like, I'm, I'm big into oat milk right now. Oh yeah, I saw that earlier. In my fridge? Mmm. <laughs> it gives you that cheese vibe. I can't tell like right off the bat that, it, that, it's, not that it's vegan. vegan. All right, John, anything else about this spot that you you like in particular? Like, why do, why do you guys take people here? Just being outside in this in this courtyard is just beautiful. Uh, and it's just a nice way to finish off the tour. All right, everybody, that wraps up our secret food tour through the historic part of downtown LA. Like I said, right now, we're ending it off in Chinatown. Ryan, you just moved back to LA. What kind of takeaways can you, do you have after doing this tour. If it wasn't for the Secret Food Tour, I definitely would not have seen most of, most of the spots that we've been to today. But it was really cool to see how diverse of restaurants can be placed uh, in such close vicinity to each other. And it just goes to show how much of a melting pot LA is. For me, it's like, even if it's a tour in the city that you live in, it can still feel new because I've passed by some of these spots. I've seen these spots even online before, but I just never came out. Every time you go on a tour, it's like traveling. It's like camping in your backyard. John, thank you so much for the food tour, man. Glad you could come with us. Appreciate it. All right, everybody, thank you again for watching that video. That was the secret food tour around LA. First of all, like that video if you guys had fun or if you guys learned something new. And in the comments down below, let us know if there's any other spots that you think we should check out in LA. Thanks again. This is Ryan, Andrew from the Fung Bros, John Vogel from Secret Food Tours, and until next time, we out. Peace. Hey, man. Olvero Street. It's popping. It's, it's, a, it's a vibe.